Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is SSCCGL Tier 1 2016 Afternoon Shift Part 2. Question number 1 What is net neutrality? Option A Internet service providers and governments should treat all data on the Internet equally. Option B Piracy in Internet must be curbed. Option C Internet users must give out balanced opinions in social media sites. Option D. Internet should be kept free from malware and virus. The correct answer is. Option A. Internet service providers and governments should treat all data on the Internet equally. Net neutrality, also network neutrality, internet neutrality, or net equality is the principle that internet service providers and governments should treat all data on the internet equally. There should be no discriminating or charging differently by user, content, site, platform, application, type of attached equipment, or mode of communication. Question number 2. Excise duties levied on. Option A. Sale of goods. Option B. Production of goods. Option C. Import of goods. Option D. Export of goods. The correct answer is. Option B. Production of goods. Excise duty is a form of indirect tax that is levied on goods that have been manufactured in the country. It is levied by the government. It ideally has to be paid by the manufacturer of goods at the time of introduction of goods into the market. Thus, it is commonly referred to as manufacturing tax. Question number 3. Golden Revolution in India refers to growth of Option A. Militancy in the Northeast Option B. Oil seeds production Option C. Horticulture Option D. Increased importing of gold The correct answer is Option B. Oil seeds production Golden Revolution the period between 1991 to 2003 is known as the period of the Golden Revolution. This made India a world leader in the production of bananas, mangoes, coconut, and spices and provided sustainable livelihood and nutrition options. Know the period of the Golden Revolution in detail. Question number 4. Water is used in a hot water bag because Option A. It is easily available. Option B. It has high specific gravity. Option C. It has high specific heat. Option D. It is a liquid substance. The correct answer is. Option C. It has high specific heat. Hot water bottles are used for fermentation since water does not cool quickly due to its large specific heat capacity. Water is used as an effective coolant because of its large specific heat capacity due to which it can extract more heat. Question number 5. What is the meaning of public interest litigation? Option A. Anything of public interest. Option B. A case brought by victim to court, involving public interest. Option C. A case brought by anyone to court involving public interest. Option D. A directive issued by Supreme Court involving public interest. The correct answer is Option C. A case brought by anyone to court involving public interest. According to Black's Law Dictionary, public interest litigation means a legal action initiated in a court of law for the enforcement of public interest or general interest in which the public or class of the community have pecuniary interest or some interest by which their legal rights or liabilities are affected. Question number 6. Who referred to Mahatma Gandhi as father of the nation for the first time? Option A. Jawaharlal Nehru. Option B. Sardar Vallabhai Patel Option C C. Raj Gopalachari Option D Subhash Chandra Bose The correct answer is Option D Subhash Chandra Bose It was a stroke of destiny that Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was called Bapu, the father of the nation. The first reference to Mahatma Gandhi as father of the nation goes back nearly 70 years when Subhash Chandra Bose referred to Gandhi thus in a radio address from Singapore in 1944. Question number 7. 
which title, given by the British government to Mahatma Gandhi, was surrendered during the non-cooperation movement. Option A. Hind Kesri. Option B. Raya Bahadur. Option C. Right Honorable. Option D. Kaisari Hind. The correct answer is. Option D. Kaisari Hind. The title given by the British government to Mahatma Gandhi which he surrendered during the non-cooperation movement was Kaisari Hind. Question number 8. The temperature of a liquid is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. What is its temperature in Celsius scale? Option A. 32 degrees Celsius. Option B. 0 degrees Celsius. Option C. 100 degrees Celsius. Option D. 212 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is. Option B. 0 degrees Celsius. The degree Celsius is a unit of temperature on the Celsius scale, a temperature scale originally known as the centigrade scale. The degree Celsius can refer to a specific temperature on the Celsius scale or a unit to indicate a difference between two temperatures or an uncertainty. Question number 9. The point where total mass of a body is supposed to be concentrated is known as Option A. Dead center. Option B. Center of mass. Option C. Center of gravity. Option D. Center of motion. The correct answer is Option C. Center of gravity. The center of gravity, COG of the human body is a hypothetical point around which the force of gravity appears to act. It is the point at which the combined mass of the body appears to be concentrated. Because it is a hypothetical point, the cog need not lie within the physical bounds of an object or person. Question number 10. Which part of brain is also known as little brain? Option A. Cerebrum. Option B. Cerebellum. Option C. Thalamus. Option D. Hypothalamus. The correct answer is. Option B. Cerebellum. The cerebellum is known as the little brain and resembles the cerebrum for it has a highly folded surface and distributed in two hemispheres. This part of the brain is responsible for performing functions like balance, posture, and coordination of movement. Question number 11. Which organism is responsible for alcohol fermentation? Option A. Chlorella. Option B. Yeast. Option C. Agaricus. Option D. Puxenia. The correct answer is. Option B. Yeast. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, also known as baker's yeast or brewer's yeast, is a unicellular fungus responsible for alcohol production and bread formation. Cultured for thousands of years, S. cerevisiae undergoes fermentation to create these products. Question number 12. Which of the following groups of rivers have their source of origin in Tibet? Option A. Brahmaputra, Indus, and Satluj. Option B. Ganga, Satluj, and Yamuna. Option C. Brahmaputra, Ganga, and Satluj. Option D. Chinab, Ravi and Satluj. The correct answer is Option A. Brahmaputra, Indus, and Satluj. All the ten major river systems of Asia including the Indus, Satluj, Brahmaputra, Irrawaddy, Salween, and Mekong originate in the Tibetan plateau. Among the following groups of rivers have their source of origin in Tibet are the Brahmaputra, Indus, and Satluj. Question number 13. The most ideal region for the cultivation of cotton in India is Option A. The Brahmaputra Valley Option B. The Deccan Plateau Option C. The Indo-Gangetic Valley Option D. The Run of Kutch The correct answer is Option B. The Deccan Plateau Deccan Plateau is the most ideal region for the cultivation of cotton in India. Because of the thick dark soil also known as Regul soil which is widely found in the Deccan Plateau, this place is suitable for the cultivation of cotton. Question number 14. Where do the electrical charges reside in a charged conductor? Option A. At the core. Option B. Throughout the body. Option C. 
depended upon the nature of the body. Option D. The outer surface of the body. The correct answer is. Option D. The outer surface of the body. In all conductors, charges reside on the surface. The reason for this is that conductors have free electrons, that is, the electrons are loosely attached to the nucleus of the atoms in the conductors. Question number 15. The color of the ocean appears to be blue because the sunlight falling on it is. Option A. Reflected. Option B. Refracted. Option C. Diffracted. Option D. Scattered. The correct answer is. Option D. Scattered. The reason the ocean is blue is due to the absorption and scattering of light. The blue wavelengths of light are scattered, similar to the scattering of blue light in the sky but absorption is a much larger factor than scattering for the clear ocean water. Question number 16. In which mode can the computers that are associated send frames directly to each other? Option A. Ad hoc mode. Option B. Infrastructure mode. Option C. Structured mode. Option D. Anonymous mode. The correct answer is. Option A. Ad hoc mode. In the Windows operating system, ad hoc is a communication mode, setting, that allows computers to directly communicate with each other without a router. Ad hoc networks, which can be wired or wireless are also known as peer-to-peer -peer networks because the devices communicate directly and do not rely on servers. Question number 17. What was the immediate cause of the mutiny of 1857? Option A. The discontentment of the soldiers. Option B. The use of greased cartridges in the new Enfield rifle. Option C. The social conditions of India. Option D. The introduction of railways and telegraphs. The correct answer is Option B. The use of creased cartridges in the new Enfield rifle. The use of creased cartridges in the new Enfield rifle is considered by historians as the immediate cause of the 1857 revolt. Question number 18 Who introduced the doctrine of lapse to expand British territories in India? Option A. Lord Hastings. Option B. Lord Wellesley. Option C. Lord William Bentinck. Option D. Lord Dalhousie. The correct answer is. Option D. Lord Dalhousie. The doctrine of lapse was the pro-imperialist approach to expand the realm of the British Kingdom in India. It was introduced by Dalhousie. The doctrine equipped with an idea to annex those states which have no heir get lapsed the right of ruling and it will not revert by adoption. Question number 19. Hriday scheme launched by Urban Development Ministry aims at Option A. Education of girl child. Option B. Development of smart cities. Option C. Urban sewage treatment. Option D. Development of heritage sites. The correct answer is Option D. Development of Heritage Sites Hriday scheme was launched on 21 January 2015 for the development of heritage cities. This scheme aimed to preserve and revitalize the heritage cities of India to reflect their unique character. It also encourages the development of an aesthetically appealing, accessible, informative, and secured environment in heritage cities. Question number 20 Global warming is expected to result in Option A. Increase in sea level. Option B. Change in crop pattern. Option C. Change in the coastal line. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these. Climate change includes both global warmings driven by human emissions of greenhouse gases and the resulting large-scale shifts in weather patterns. Though there have been previous periods of climatic change, since the mid-20th century the rate of human impact on Earth's climate system and its global scale has been unprecedented. Question number 21. Who appoints and dismisses the gazetted officials of the Union Government? Option A. The President of India. Option B. The Prime Minister of India. Option C. The Home Minister of India. Option D. 
the finance minister of india the correct answer is option a the president of india the president of india appoints and dismisses the gazetted officials of the union government question number 22 the industry having the largest investment in indian economy is option a t option b cement option c steel option d jute the correct answer is option c steel the production capacity of sale is expected to increase from 13 mtpa to 50 mtpa in 2025 with a total investment of us dollar 24.88 billion tata steel has decided to increase the capacity of its kalinganagar integrated steel plant from 3 million tons to 8 million tons at an investment of us dollar 3.64 billion question number 23 Ajanta Lora Caves are situated near which of the following cities? Option A. Mount Abu. Option B. Aurangabad. Option C. Bijapur. Option D. Madurai. The correct answer is Option B. Aurangabad. Ajanta and Elora Caves are located near the city of Aurangabad in Maharashtra and are about 300 kilometers northeast of the city of Mumbai. Ajanta and Ellora are protected monument sites under the Archaeological Survey of India and has been included in the World Heritage List of Monuments. Question number 24. Which of the following is a name of U.S. Parliament? Option A. Diet. Option B. Senate. Option C. Congress. Option D. House of Commons. The correct answer is. Option C. Congress. The United States Congress or U.S. Congress is the bicameral legislature of the federal government of the United States and consists of two chambers, the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Congress meets in the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. Question number 25. Charles Correa is a renowned Indian. Option A. Freedom fighter. Option B. Painter. Option C. Architect. Urban Planner. Option D. Award-winning doctor. The correct answer is. Option C. Architect. Urban Planner. Charles Mark Correa, the 1st of September 1930, the 16th of June 2015, was an Indian architect and urban planner. Credited for the creation of modern architecture in post-independent India. He was celebrated for his sensitivity to the needs of the urban poor and for his use of traditional methods and materials. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.